Here at Moltrack, we want to put you in a Bruni Surin singlet, but we also want you to watch our videos. And here's a reason to do both. Inside information on all of this week's competitions. What do you think Sylvain's gonna throw? Uh, I think I put like 33 or something. Everyone's guessing right around 30 yeah. meters, eh? <laughs> I, I think Steph's gonna beat her. Beat him. <laughs> Steph, <laughs> Steph Marquis? Yeah. Uh, let's see. It's a 600 gram, so it's a woman traveling. And uh, my prediction is gonna be 31. Here's the man of the hour, Sylvain. Steve Power, Usain Bolt, did you Okay, what's your strategy for throwing it? I don't know how to throw a jab, so I'm gonna throw it like a baseball. Okay, that's that's probably the best way. Yeah. What um, how is yelling gonna be a factor? Um, I think yelling it once it's released is really important. It pushes the javelin further out. Have you considered doing a double yell like Brad when Robinson? It lands at, yeah, that's totally what I'm planning on doing. Very well. A number prediction number. I hope I can. Over 20? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, 20 is the official number. High jump, I should be able to get a 170. That's my PB, but it's not a strong PB, but it's definitely something I want to improve on. Uh, 110 hurdles, I'm used to 60 hurdles, so 110 is a bit of a change, but that'd be fun. It's almost twice as much? Yeah, it's a lot of hurdles. Um, then what else? Like, I got javelin. 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 You're going to be throwing against Mitch and Pascal. Oh, well, there I'm screwed. <laughs> <laughs> sure. But. I was aiming for a 35, I just threw a 37 in practice, so I should be able to new goal 40. Uh, yes, yeah, so this weekend I'm running in uh, Nationals, the 800 meters. I will f start by running the qualification rounds, so I'm not expecting a huge time there. I'm just expecting to take whatever I need to get in the top three to get in the semifinals. And uh, at the semifinals, it could go either way. It could be a slow tactical race. Or it could be a quick one if someone wants to, some Tommy LeCour is in my heat and he wants to go out real fast, then I'll probably end up running like a 150 flat, 151. And if it's tactical, then I might just stick with 154s and 155s all, all week. Yep. What are you looking for uh, over there? Uh, big jump. Uh, Outdoor PB? Yeah, well, anything over seven meters. How's the uh, hamstring? Oh, it's a bit better than the two weeks, three weeks uh, since I tweaked it a little bit. And uh, yeah, I jumped on uh, Thursday and I jumped like 690, so without pushing too much. So it should be good uh, for nationals. Since Mitch is there, uh, I'll have somebody push me along a bit. Um, I'm hoping, I, I really would like to break that 60 meters. I threw 59.56 last week, and, and uh, so yeah, 60 meters would be great. Uh, but for Mitch... I With have, good conditions, how do you think for, he's going to go? For good condition, I have no doubt that he's going to break his PB, which I think is around 56. 56 right so now? I have no doubt that he's going to break his PB, so uh, I'd say a good 57 high, 57, 58. How fast will I run? How far will Pierre jump, and who will throw further between Mitch and Pascal? Jason will be competing in three events, and most importantly, Sylvain will be throwing women's javelin. Only time will reveal all of these performances, but until then, as the great Sylvain Birbe would say, keep your legs moving. <laughs> so this is my first Monk Track appearance. Um, I'm just wishing the boys uh, good luck uh, this weekend. Uh, we've got uh, competitions in Calgary and Moncton and all around. I guess we uh, we just had uh, Sylvain Birbe throw the, uh, the woman javelin. Um, <laughs> it was spectacular to see. Samantha sorry sorry we couldn't offer you a huge meal. A huge sushi log. We usually like to offer that to our guests. <laughs> yeah. But we didn't have anything ready yet. Okay, so next uh, time we'll get something for you. I expect it next time. Alright. <laughs>